everyone my name is Apuro and today I'm going to show you how I set up my Macbook for programming so uh, today I'm going to show you how I set up homebrew the Apple's command line developer tools and VS code and its extension so um, before I uh, move on let me show you that my Mac is totally empty right now and I'm currently on the ARM64 architecture as you can see here the ARM64 architecture uh, that is means that I'm using the M1 chip and you can follow these steps on any of the new M1 chips the M1 Max and the M1 Pro and I'm using the M1 chip on my MacBook Pro so uh, let me show you the version of Python that I have so I'll type the command Python Python version so as you can see the version is 2.7 this is the default version that comes with Mac OS and uh, you can use it but it is not recommended as the version 3 is available uh, let me show you the uh, Clang version Clang is a compiler for uh, C which is for Mac OS so you can see Clang it is uh, telling us to download the uh, command line developer tools so you can install from here also uh, but I will show you the method uh, in which you can use homebrew to install it or else you can also uh, use command x code dash select install this command will also install the command line developer tools for you so I will I'm going to show you the homebrew method so let's quit it go to the browser of your choice in case in this case I'm using Safari and type homebrew homebrew is a package manager which is uh, widely used in Mac OS so uh, the uh, website is here and you can see install homebrew this is the command all you need to do is copy it you can see click it is copied and then uh, use go to terminal uh, and then paste this command command v and hit enter now it is asking for a password so you just type the password it will not show in your screen so as you can see let me increase the size you can see the command after you check for password the script will install these uses and these new directories will be created and also it is uh, here shown that the xcode command line tools will be installed so i'll recommend uh, using this homebrew method so now you have to press enter this will install the uh, command line tools as well so i'll hit uh, return it will take some time as uh, it is going to install the command line tools as well the command line tools uh, contain the clang and uh, clang plus plus which is uh, compilers used for compiling c and c plus plus respectively so it is uh, downloading command line tools for xcode now so now you can see the homebrew is installed now it will show a warning that opt slash homebrew bin is not in your path uh, instructions on how to configure your shell for homebrew can be found in the next steps so we will go to into the next step section run these two commands in your terminal so all you need to do is run these two commands this let me copy it properly this command command c and here command v and press return and that's done 
now the in the next steps you have to type brew help to get started so you know type brew help return you can see the brew help command has executed successfully so let us check this also see as you can see i run the command brew doctor your system is ready to brew you can see homebrew is uh, installed successfully now let's see the version of clang that is installed you can see the arm 64 apple clang uh, version is installed and let's see same for clang plus plus you can see clang plus plus version also there so let's check for python it still shows python version 2.7 let's check type python 3 you can see python 3.8.9 version has been installed by a homebrew and the command line developers tool itself uh, this has been done the homebrew installation has been done successfully now let's move on to the next step the next step is installing vs code uh, on your uh, macbook pro m1 so all you need to do is uh, go over to safari type vs code go to the first link you can see here download mac universal stable build so prior to this there were uh, insider addition as you can see insider addition uh, for the m1 users but now that the universal build is available for uh, m1 mac so we'll use that so all you need to do is click on this blue button once and it will start your download so you have to allow this the vs code is downloaded successfully so go to finder and then downloads you can see the vs code application all you need to do is drag this and drop it into the applications folder you can see vs code is there in application folder so let us first remove this we don't need safari anymore so we'll quit it and then go to finder the application you can uh, also do spotlight search using command and space and then typing vs code you can see vs code is opening you have to click open so in order to uh, run python and c++ you need to download some extensions so first uh, let us download the extensions so you can see the python extension over here it is a popular one so you can download from here directly or you can also search for python hit enter the first one please do check that it is from microsoft as you can see here then hit enter you can see it is uh, downloaded successfully the next extension that we need is for uh, c so we type c and the first thing which comes is this one C C++ from Microsoft as well you have to install this as well you can see it is installed the next extension that uh, we are going to need is code runner code runner you can see the first one the logo should be this dot run this is uh, used to run C C++ Java JS PHP Python all these languages so we'll hit install yeah and it is installed and one thing to note is that uh, now that our extensions have been installed now i will close it and reopen it so you can see vs code has been opened also let me tell you about a setting before uh, we go ahead go to settings and then extensions scroll down and then go to run configuration 
scroll down until you see run in terminal this is important you have to check it or also you can do the same thing and type run in terminal so you can see code runner run in terminal setting over here we have uh, checked it so now that we have uh, uh, set up the VS code as well so let's uh, make a C++ file and uh, run it so um, let me first make a folder on my desktop new folder I will type its name projects and run to the side will open vs code and click on this open folder you can also create folder uh, from this button that i have created on desktop so i'll open folder and go to desktop and go to projects and then open yes you have to click ok and check on this trust the author and yes i trust the author as you know you are the author now uh, click on this little icon and type the name what you want to type so i will type my name and uh, remember to type this dot cpp for creating a c plus plus file and hit enter it is saying uh, do you want to install extension for c plus plus let us see the yeah, you have to click install these extensions are uh, used for uh, compiling and uh, running the uh, c++ program in your vs code the last extension that we installed the code runner this play button that you can see it was not previously there but as we have installed the code runner so you can see the little button right here so this extension pack is also also installed so let us close it and I will write a small code So you can see I have written the code. Also pro tip, just go to files and click this auto save so that uh, you don't have to uh, save it before you run it. You can see this is dot. So if I click on auto save, the dot is gone means it has been saved successfully. You can also use the shortcut uh, command S for saving it. Now let's click this small icon to run the code see how count my mistake so now let's run it so let me take a fresh terminal so now you can see it has been printed subscribe to approve codes so now you know what to do so let us do uh, same for a uh, python so you need to do a new uh, this click on this icon and name the file in this case i will put name and dot py for python you do, uh, give the extension dot py now in this in python it is very easy you can do anything so it should run or maybe an error will occur 
I will tell you about that. This app is running. Okay. You can see it gives subscribe to approve codes. You can also change anything. It is getting auto saved as we check this auto save. So no need to command an S. So you can see subscribe is getting printed. And also the uh, the setting that I told you uh, to check in the run interval. It is because um, if you do it without that uh, setting, your output will come in this output window and you cannot give input here. See, I can I'm typing and nothing is happening. But in terminal, you can see it is typing here. So uh, for taking inputs, as you know, in programming, you are going to take inputs. So you need to turn on that setting. And uh, so that's it. Now you can see C, C++ and Python programs are running properly in VS Code. So that's it for today's video. Thank you all. Bye.